Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to be walking you through the process to migrate some of your content from Schoology to Canvas. Uh, I will tell you at the outset that this is not a perfect system, but it can save you at least some time and creating, especially depending on what you use Schoology for in the past and what you're looking to use Canvas for in the future. So um, this is basically a three-step process. I'll walk you through each one and kind of just show you what, what we do. The very first step is to locate the content you want to move to Canvas. Now, I will tell you, I would wait on any current courses until you are finished with the year because you, obviously you'll be adding more information as you go. But you can go through in my courses and do some of your archived ones. Um, I started doing that with one of my accelerated courses and uh, I will do it now with my general science. So I'll select the archived button and go to last year's information that I use for science. In there, in the options menu, I wanna save this course to resources. So I'm here in the home button. I'm gonna say no folder, but I'm gonna select folder with the resources and I'm gonna hit submit. It will now take a moment to put everything into um, the resources and you'll see that it's in the transfer history, history area. Now from here, you'll wanna to go to your resources. You should see the general science course or whatever course you've added is uh, located at the bottom. With this, you'll actually go up to the top next to resources. You'll see the add collection button and the little drop down arrow. This drop down arrow, the bottom one is export. If you select export, that's what's going to tell you that it's going to go into a common cartridge or IMS CC uh, file form. You'll see home and then the folder. You will have to scroll if you have quite a bit of content. So you can see quite a few of mine are showing up here from previous uh, uses and years. As I scroll towards the bottom, I realize I'm getting a little bit closer. So you kind of want to go a little bit slower until you find the right file folder, select it, select export. It will tell you that your export file is being generated and that you can see those in your transfer history. If you select transfer history, um, it will be there waiting for you as a pending action. You can see I did do this with one of my other courses just uh, a little bit earlier, so I could take this step a little bit faster. So while this one is pending, I'm gonna use the one that I have right here, and I'm gonna just select the cog right next to it and download. And I know that my IMSCC file is downloaded once it's complete here. I can then make my way over to the Canvas dashboard and I can create a brand new course. And for the sake of this one, I'm just going to call it um, Backup. 21-22 Gen Science. In here, the easiest thing is off to the side. You'll see where it says Import Course Content. I select that. And for the content type, I'm going to look for where it says the Common Cartridge 1x Package. Select the file. Default Question Banks. Most of this I usually leave, I select all content, and then import existing quizzes as new quizzes, select import, and now we basically let that upload, and it will upload and then it will run the process. So I'm going to pause for a moment. Here you can see it has finished the upload and now it's in the running phase. Once this is done running, it will then tell me if there are any errors that it encountered. Um, when I did this earlier with another course, I actually ran into a couple errors. Uh, some were broken links. Some of them were um, maybe embedded items like Brain Pop or Edpuzzle that it could not use because they're not, we don't have that on Canvas. It was on the Schoology. It was running through there. But I'll show you what that looks like when it's done running. So after a couple of minutes, the uh, upload was complete. It ran. It did identify seven issues. As we said, two of them were because they were external tools that I had embedded, 
and then some were uh, maybe a missing link that they couldn't identify. That's fine as you get there. I mean, some work we'll have to do. We're starting from scratch a little bit, but it's not completely. Now, all of this content I'll be able to find by looking through, and I can start by just going to my home folder. And if you remember my other page, it had a main week. So the week 36 was the top folder. Well, now that's been converted into a module. And the agendas within that are there as well. So I can see today's agenda is there. I might have to do a few tweaks or deleting of some of the words, but the embedding of the Google Slides, the other information, that's all still there. So all of my pages actually did a pretty good job of coming in and uploading pretty well. Um, I can also check that with modules, anything that was listed as like a folder, like the week 36 ones, previous weeks, I can see some of those have been converted to modules. Um, I also know that some of my discussion questions that I created in the past and had with students during the year, those are all imported as well. So it gives me the opportunity to, to see most of the stuff is there. Is everything no? Is everything perfect? Not exactly. Um, you know, some of the quizzes did not import properly. Some did, and they did a really good job of it. Others, not so much. So when I go and look at it, it might say that, um, you know, there were some that they, they were missing some questions on or they weren't able to see some of the parts. Understanding that, this at least gave me an opportunity to see what was done and what uh, I still have work to do on. Um, I hope that helps, and I hope that it gives you an opportunity to just explore a little bit and have a little less stress about losing if you're worried about losing things from Schoology moving over to Canvas.